we're in the National Gallery in Washington, D.C., and we're looking at one of their great canvases. It's the Feast of the Gods, and there are actually three painters involved here, two principal. The main artist is Giovanni Bellini, the Venetian, mm -hmm. and then ultimately his student, Titian, who was one of the really great Renaissance right, masters. Who completed the landscape. Okay. Sir Bellini was... After he died. Right. Dossi painted a bit of the landscape, which I think then uh, Titian painted over, right. ultimately. And so this was done for the Duke of Ferrara. Yeah. So this is a... Adesti. Right. So this is commissioned at the highest levels of the aristocracy in Venice. But this was not a public commission. This was for his study, mm -hmm. which is to say it was allowed to have a kind of private subject matter, which mm -hmm. is a kind of playful sexuality, really. It I mean, is, yeah. This is a bacchanal, Feast of the Gods. Figures eating and drinking and... Um, Cavorting. And cavorting yes. and, and having pleasures of various kinds in the landscape. All the figures are identifiable. Gods and naiads. Satyrs. Bacchus, interestingly enough, is the young child on the lower left in Collecting blue. Collecting some wine. That's right, of course, appropriately. <laughs> and the large figure just to the right, in reclining, the is Mercury. If you look closely, there's all kinds of wonderful little interludes. The color is very Venetian in its brilliance yeah. and in the it's way jewel like that, yeah, qualities. That's a result of this privileged place between Italy, between the Florentine tradition on one hand. And the north. The, and of course, it's the oil painting because the colors could not have been so saturated if it, was tempera, if it had been tempera right. or fresco. The figures really feel a part of the landscape. They're mm. not an excuse for the landscape. They're very much embedded. Although they do kind of form this frieze along a single plane. It's, it looks very classical to me, like a classical relief sculpture. But it's an incredibly complex composition with 18 or so figures who you know, are all in various positions and there's a kind of, the mm. figures are interrelated and there's nothing stiff about the composition. This is really leading into what I consider the style of the High Renaissance, where the figures have a kind of fluidity and grace really are representing people with their own motivations. And I love that the sunlight coming through looks like this part of the landscape that Bellini painted of the, the trees, these vertical trees and that yellow, orange coming and through. blue sunlight right yeah. coming through oh, on the gorgeous. right yeah. and the light and all of those things we consider very Venetian. It is an incredibly ambitious painting that tells stories you would never tire of looking at. And that you can imagine the Duke in his study looking at these gods, these Olympian gods, enjoying the pleasures of earthly life. So a kind of justification of the pleasures that he enjoys. Mm -hmm.